one for losing body fat and keeping it off and building and maintaining muscle, eat a bigger breakfast than you think you need to. You should be so satiated after your breakfast that you almost feel a little too full and your breakfast should be very high in protein. Obviously everyone's individual experience will be different, but on average this does indeed appear to be correct. If we take groups of people and have them either eat more calories at breakfast or more calories at dinner, there is substantially more weight loss in the group consuming more calories at breakfast. And morning calorie consumption is also associated with improvements in fasting glucose, insulin, triglycerides, and glucose tolerance, all indicating improvements in insulin sensitivity and reductions in the risk of diabetes. This has been repeated so many times we have meta-analyses looking at multiple studies, drawing similar conclusions that on average a higher intake of calories in the morning results in significantly greater weight loss than a higher intake of calories at the end of the day. And this can be due to multiple different reasons, most likely due to the satiating effects of breakfast, reducing caloric intake throughout the rest of the day. However, many studies indicate that despite eating a very similar amount of calories and expending quite similar amounts of energy, there is still a disparity in the amount of weight loss favoring the early eaters indicating there may simply be a change in their metabolism of the calories they are consuming or their energy expenditure outside of physical activity, including increases in their resting metabolic expenditure. And when it comes to maintaining muscle mass and intake of protein at breakfast, while it may not be magnificently large, protein intake at breakfast does appear to have a relatively stronger effect on increasing muscle mass than protein intake at lunch and dinner. Understand that due to your individual lifestyle and your individual experience, you may find that it's more sustainable to eat more calories at the end of the day if you are trying to lose weight and build muscle. But on average, when the same caloric intake is adhered to, consuming a larger breakfast does appear to be favorable to consuming a larger dinner. This in no way means you will not achieve outcomes eating a large dinner and even skipping breakfast. But on average, there is a slight difference in favor of early morning caloric intake. With that being said, if you would like an individualized approach to your nutrition and lifestyle to optimize your health, energy, and body composition, send me a DM to sign up for coaching.